Jeg snakker den af. I said I'd get into the 160s. That's gonna happen. But then we're gonna take a break. And I'll explain why. It's not that deep, don't worry. It's just a good title and stuff, but drop the video a like. And let me explain. <laughs> so, a casual couple hundred calories down, and before we get into today's video properly, and we do a little bit of an explanation as to what the hell this title actually means. Stick with me, because I have a giveaway for you guys. Every single week since the start of lockdown, I guess you could call it, I've done a competition. Um, not much of a reward, I'm not gonna lie, but it's just something, something cool, something fun uh, and interesting for you guys to get involved with. And that is a competition for a different exercise every week. We've had shoulder press, we've had abs, we've had uh, lateral raises, we've had like a, a push-up one, loads of different ones. And this week we chose a box standard, boom bicep curl. Now we had plenty of sick entries, we had some funny donuts being eaten, we had guns being used and all of that kind of stuff, but overall there could only ever be one winner and that is Callum underscore Wells 98. Congratulations my friend, not only on the new baby, but also on your fantastic entry. You are the winner for this week. Drop me a message, my friend, which I know you will do. I know you'll be watching this and we will get your prize sorted. Just to clarify, if you do win this competition, you get a 250 gram bag of my protein courtesy of myself. You know, it's just a little boost. Just something fun, really. It's not much of a reward, I'm not gonna lie, but it's just kind of something cool and, and fun and interesting for you guys to, to get involved with and keeps me occupied at the same time doing the judging. So that leads me on to this week's competition. Now, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready for this? Can I get a drum roll, please? I think it's about time we challenged you properly, people. We can't have you skipping leg day during quarantine. We can't have you losing those hard-earned leg gains during lockdown. So this week, I challenge you, people, to a squat. How fun, interesting, innovative can you make your squat at home we're not talking a body weight come down like so and back up although that is a perfectly executed squat i hear you say yes you would be correct on that what i want from you guys is something fun something interesting use what you have at home use something or someone that you have at home and just make it funny you know Make it funny, make it interesting. We had someone bicep curling, bloody water guns, you know? Like, just make it fun, make it interesting, and have fun with it. Entries for this will close on Sunday, so you are seeing this on Tuesday. You will have until Sunday to get your entry in. From there, I will announce the winner over like Tuesday or Wednesday or something. That is the general kind of routine. We kind of got into a little bit of a routine with it, not really, but anyway. Have some fun with it. I'm gonna get some food. Drop the video a like if you have not already. And on with the day. Thank you, no. Are you off to Sainsbury's? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wash your hands, won't you? I will. You dirty pig. <laughs> She's trying not to fall asleep. She just refuses. She heard me. She just heard me. Watch, ready? Jesse. <coughs> Chocolate cookies and cream kind of combo today. 60 grams of oats as per usual. But you don't care about that. Let's get to the topic of the video. Okay, so I keep referring you guys back to this sheet and that is because it is going to be and it has been the guideline for my past one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like pretty much 12 weeks. Um, I have been kind of staying on track with this as much as I possibly can. Now, the point of this video is to explain the plan moving forwards. If you are new here, I am currently getting ready for the summer shredding competition, online competition, right? Every single year, Christian Guzman runs a in-person competition, bodybuilding competition, classic physique, I think is gonna be this year, but it is currently delayed until October. That's kind of the rough date that they've given, right? But initially it was going to be the middle of July. And so I was kind of just going to originally stick to these dates, uh, which is up to the 15th of May, within a few days time. 
have about a week off and then keep going just until July and then that would be that, that would be ready and we would assumingly from that point go back into a bulk or just a small surplus, whatever you want to call it. Things change, plans change, the world is, is currently going through something it has never seen in our lifetimes and hopefully we'll never again see at all, let alone in our lifetimes. So I'm going to run through the changes right now that I'm going to make uh, over the next week, over the next few weeks uh, and a couple of months to come. So. In a few days, we will hit the 15th of May, which is when body power was supposed to be. I want to be in the 160s pounds by that point in time, right? Whether it's 169.9 or whatever, I don't care. I want 169 on that scale. So stay tuned over the next few days to see, well, to see me hit that. Because I, so far, I, I'm on track. It's just not quite happened yet. I think I'm due a big dump. If you know, you know. Drop the video a like if you know. Originally, the plan from that date was to take around about a week off uh, from the 15th to like the 22nd or whenever it was. It's my birthday. It's the old man's birthday. Um, I was going to film food challenges. It was meant to be body power. And so I like to have a little bit of time, a little bit of comfort around that time to do what I want. Maybe film an eating challenge or two just film a bit more kind of adventurous content rather than it being focused just on the diet. Now, obviously body power has also been delayed until the end of October. It's now the 30th, the 31st of October and the 1st of November. It is that weekend, Halloween weekend, which might kind of tie in with some shredding. It might not, it might, it might not. We, we shall see, only time will tell. But what it does mean for my personal plans is as follows. <laughs> For the time being, we will stick to these numbers, stick to these dates, and we will achieve that. We will hit that, okay? You'll mark my words, we will hit 169. We'll be in the 160s by that date. When the 15th comes around, my new plan, well, not necessarily the new plan, because I'm kind of sticking with what I was originally gonna do. I'm gonna take a little bit of time off. I'm gonna take a little diet break. Now, what does that mean? Because I don't really like to call my diet a diet. Um, it's not much of a diet, it's more of just a lifestyle, you know? I take a very relaxed approach to dieting. I take a very relaxed approach to pretty much everything that I do, generally speaking. But what this has done is provided me with the structure and the, the kind of motivation during this time that I needed to have those dates kind of set out and to keep on track for my socials, keep on track for myself. And just, it's out of principle, it's what I said I would do. I still can do everything that I said I was going to do. And so I would, and I should, and so far, I have. Once those dates come around, I'm hoping that over the next couple of weeks we will have a little bit more clarity as to what's going on with summer shredding because from the 15th to assuming mid-October, right, we will have one, two, three, four, four, 22 weeks to lose a further 10 pounds. If we're at 169 pounds, the end goal of this summer shred is 159 pounds. I would like to finish this year in the 150 pounds. Assuming that I can maintain around 170 like I said I can, that would give me 22 weeks to lose 10 pounds, as in half a pound a week. Now that is very, 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 very similar to what we did last summer. I like the sound of that. So what we are going to do, ladies and gents, can we get a second drum roll of this video, please? We will be continuing until the 15th of May and we will be continuing with our training plan as we are. We are still on the LSJ OHP plan, which is available in the site, which is linked in the description box. We will continue with that five day plan all throughout the summer and we will slowly, steadily, but surely lose weight. The deficit is actually going to be that small and I've really not been training that long that I could still progress lifts in that time. If I am just below maintenance, I'm talking one, 200 cows below maintenance. Keep up my cardio, keep up the intensity of my training. We can make progress while in a deficit, just like we did last summer. The sustainable diet people, remember it. Of course, as is with everything else going on in the world right now, nothing is set in stone, nothing is concrete. However, that is penciled out the plan, what we're going to be doing for the next few weeks, for the next couple of months. So that's what you can expect, okay? Well, well that's it in, in a nutshell really, isn't it, I suppose? So, the eagle-eyed of you will have also noticed earlier on in the video, Charlotte has entered the building. Hi everyone. We, hello, hi everyone. We have decided that now is the best time, this is what we we're going to do. She is here to stay for the foreseeable, working from home, all of that jazz. So you will be seeing her out and about. Oh, out and about, out you won't be out and about. about, no, no, we haven't done that for two months. So you'll be seeing her in the occasional video, perhaps the old comment in, in the background as well. Yeah. Yeah, okay. 
that's that. So, we haven't got many bananas left, so I'm gonna have to be a little bit sparing. But, with regards to my macros, it's a little bit dark. They'll be staying the same for at least the next few days. So this is the banana that I would have, I pretty much have one or two a day really. This is one that I would normally have had with the breakfast that you guys saw earlier. Today I just didn't, so here it is. I'm having it as a post-workout kind of carb replenishment now. And let me tell you, it is a much needed one because I just finished up, I mean I'll be wearing this t-shirt in tomorrow's video, I just finished up a training session and it was a frigging difficult training session. So stay tuned for that video. It will be live tomorrow, I don't know, around about 7 p.m. UK time, there or thereabouts anyway. So, one thing I always actually get asked is my upload schedule, and it is every Wednesday and every Sunday. And as you guys know, at this point in time, isolation and all that, we are uploading as often as we possibly can in between. So that often leads to four, five, six videos a week, Pretty cool. Know that pretty much any question that I didn't answer that you may have from this video, I will probably answer over the next few days or over the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned, you'll just have to watch the future videos, won't you? Watch them all, like them all, comment on them all. Really, really, really helps me out and thank you so much, every single one of you. If you're still watching this video, like 10, 11, 12 minutes in, I appreciate you because it is you, yeah you, is gonna help us get to where we wanna freaking get. And it's gonna be freaking cool to look back at videos like this where we're only getting a few hundred views per one. It was just a few months ago, really, before this Momentum series started, that we were getting 300 views in 24 hours. Now we're getting 300 views before we go to bed. That's awesome, and that is down to you guys. Liking, commenting, subscribing, all that annoying stuff that every single YouTuber asks you to do in every single video, they all ask you to do it because it helps so much. Any interaction, whether it is positive or negative, has a positive effect on somebody's channel, and I cannot get that across any stronger. Any kind of interaction is a good thing. So I wanted to take a second to thank you all for your freaking awesome support, especially over the past few weeks, you know, since this whole, isolation malarkey has kind of come into play. It has been difficult, very, very difficult at times, you know, for everyone. But in that time, I feel like we have just built this. If you are still watching right now, please drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. Together, we will grow. I think where we're gonna be in the next few weeks, in the next few months, in the next few days, body power, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna say it. I am just gonna say it. Body power is at the 30th of October, 31st of October and the 1st of November. Let's get 5k subs by then. Let's do it. And if you guys keep the momentum building with your support, things like messages that you guys are sending me, freaking awesome. I, I thank you all so much. You know who you are. If you are liking this, if you're still watching this right now, I'm, I'm just rambling at this point, but you, you get the point. It helps so much. Thank you all. I appreciate you. And with that said, everybody, there is not much else to say other than stay tuned for what is to come. We have some body power related content over the next few days. I'm trying to get some stuff sorted. I'll explain a little bit more about that. We have a cool, interesting video coming tomorrow, and that'll be another few videos in a few days in a row. So please be sure to show your support for the grind, the 20 24 seven grind. Thank you all, I appreciate you all. I'm gonna say it once more, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one. Together, we will grow. Wodka, from the Wodka Cafe, um, and I've saved it for a special occasion, and I think we deem this as a special occasion, don't we? So. Yeah, really nice, you definitely got Yes. Oh, that was much less of a satisfying Oh, your breath. No, you can't. <laughs> God. Oh, the colour on that, mate. It looks like tea. Yeah, it does look like tea. It looks like really milky tea. Don't I usually have the pink one? I don't really know. I haven't oh, seen you for oh. two months. Sniff test. It smells like babies. Mm, it does a bit, doesn't it? Drink that all night. What I want? No. Oh, okay. It tastes like Werther's with vodka mixed in. It's great. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Oh.